Have you ever felt that uh, bad news or good news affected your decision in a certain way? Well, in today's video, we're going to look at the affect heuristic. So to start off this affect heuristic, let's just think of an example. So let's say you're an individual who's an artist who wants to play in a play. And on a given day, you receive an invitation to audition for this play that you're really interested in. It really, it's something that's been a dream for you for all your life. But on that same day, you receive a negative news that says that you failed an exam and this news actually lowers your self-esteem and you just don't feel good about yourself. And in the end, you call up the, the theater to tell them that you're not interested in auditioning. Even though you're really interested in this play, you just feel that as though uh, you're not good enough for it. It affected your self-esteem. So if it wasn't for that news event that you received that same day, if you would have received it the day after, your decision would have been a whole lot different. You would have accepted that audition. So it's how these little news events could influence your decision in a given day. Same thing as if you're going to shop for a car, you might have a certain price that you're willing to pay above or below this kind of threshold price is what you're aiming for for a specific car. And on that day, you either get good news or bad news. It could be financial news, you get bad news in the sense that you're driving there. So you get caught in a uh, going 80 in a 50 zone because you expected the limit to be 80 and in the end it's a very expensive ticket. And all of a sudden, you show up there and you're in a bad mood and you're just not sure. Well, you won't be as flexible with uh, the price of the, the vehicle. You'll be wanting a much lower price. But if on the other hand, as you're driving there, you realize that you just won a thousand dollars at a lottery or something else, well, all of a sudden you feel better and you'll more, more likely going to make that purchase. There's other things that are coming to play there but it could also be based on receiving a good grade versus a bad grade. Receiving a good grade might lead you to make the purchase, to want to treat yourself, and then receiving a bad grade might make you not want to make the purchase because you don't feel you're, you're worth it. And at the end of the day, the decision based on the car, if you have the money for it, and this good grade, bad grade example, shouldn't make any impact. It's a good deal or not, and it's the kind of car that you want or not. But because your self-esteem is impacted in this process, your decision may be off. So the price that you value a car and whether you'll make the purchase or not is very dependent on the emotion that you have on that given day. It's not rational like if you look through a book and you're like, this is a 2012, this amount of kilometers, this is the price it should be worth. It all depends if you fall in love with a car and how you feel that they will have a big impact. I know I sold stuff over the years, uh, used stuff to, to people. And some days I'm happy to get rid of it because of my mood. I'm just like, yeah, clearing things out. I'm happy. Lower price than I expected, but doesn't matter. And then some other days I'm like, no, this is a price. I'm not budging my price. And it's really dependent on how I'm feeling that day. So hopefully that's going to give you a bit of a glimpse on how the effect heuristic can have an influence on our decisions. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing or joining my class where I guide you to apply and expand on the information found in these videos to real life examples. Have a good day.